केवी न्यूज में आपका स्वागत है मैं मुदसर अहमद आपके साथ विद्या की संस्थाएं चलाने वाले मुस्लिम समुदाय के लोगों में मुस्लिम एजुकेशनल सोसाइटी ने अपने 50 वर्ष की सेवा करने पर प्राप्त किया एक नया ऐतिहासिक स्थान मुस्लिम एजुकेशनल सोसाइटी की बुनियाद रखने वाले कुछ सदस्य स्वर्गवास हो चुके हैं उनके बताए हुए मार्ग पर जो सदस्य अपने 50 वर्ष का सफर पूरा करने के लिए अपना मन और धन लगाते हुए और आगे ले जाने की इच्छा रखते हुए अपनी संस्था को और मजबूत करने में जुटे हैं एम इंग्लिश नर्सरी प्राइमरी और हाई स्कूल तिलक नगर मैसूरू के विद्यार्थियों ने साइंस आर्ट्स और कनाडा की एग्जीबिशन का किया शानदार प्रदर्शन साइंस लैब का उद्घाटन मैसूरु नॉर्थ जोन के बीईओ रेवन्ना के हाथों हुआ एम के जनरल सेक्रेटरी मोहम्मद खासिम जॉइंट सेक्रेटरी नईमुल्ला शरीफ और हेडमिस्टर सबा अजहर भी इस मौके पर शामिल हुई आइए देखते हैं केवी न्यूज की ये एक्सक्लूसिव रिपोर्ट एक्चुअली आई गॉट अपॉर्चुनिटी वंस सर डिस्कस्ड अबाउट मी दिस दिस इज द गोल्डन जुबली वॉट वी आर गोइंग टू सेलिब्रेट in that science exhibition and art is the part of that uh, golden jubilee and then we have uh, just discussing then we saw this materials it was actually existed from the so many years i don't know but uh, uh, when we saw this we thought we this is the opportunity what we have to utilize we saw the materials whatever we have before it was not organized then now we have decided my science teachers my staff and we have decided to make a science laboratory we have collected we have organized and uh, we brought some uh, chemicals and in the future we have planned to use every week so what do you tell about the uh, language uh, yes language room and as well as as the our uh, bevo revanna sir has uh, uh, said once to open the Uh, Canada lab uh, to the minority students it helps to uh, improve their Canada language fluent and uh, we have also done that successfully we are uh, uh, done that and inauguration took place we are by the bevo revanna sir and uh, frequently even we will use that in the future so how about the library in the school yes we are planning to do that we are uh, collecting we are we need a books i uh, we need some donation i mean to regarding books as soon as we will collect everything this year we will collect from next year inshallah we will try to uh, collect it and uh, we will start uh, library too so how many models are there uh, in the exhibition exhibition there are so many models every class have more than 10 models working models have brain original brain and we are using working models too much and uh, there are so many models so how about the cooperation with the parents yes parents cooperation was very nice because of the cooperation then only we can succeed this one successfully we are uh, conduct this science exhibition and i thanks to the parents and students and my dear staffs and uh, main role is i thanks to my management uh, mohammed uh, khasim sir uh, who gave the free hand to do this So i said sir sir uh, we have to uh, organize science uh, laboratory he gave the permission he said we need this we need mats we need that sir has provided each and everything be- be- nothing he didn't ask a single question also so i really thanks to sir that he has given the opportunity to us to explore ourselves and i thanks to uh, bevo sir he came he inaugurated science laboratory and kannada kannada laborate kannada room language room and i thanks to sir also and uh, in the future we will uh, use this uh, and we take this opportunity and let students take this opportunity and let them more uh, explore thank you thank you assalam alaikum warahmatullahi wabarakatuh sabse pehle main allah ka shukr ada lata hu कि अल्लाह ताला ने हमने लोगों को आज एक दिन दिखाया जिसमें बच्चों के टैलेंट को बाहर लाने का मौका हुआ जैसा आप बखूबी जानते हैं ये जो हमारा साल चल रहा है ये एम का गोल्डन जुबली ईयर है तो इसी गोल्डन जुबली ईयर के नोयत से ये एक इवेंट कंडक्ट करने का मैनेजमेंट ने डिसीजन लिया था तो जिसमें बच्चों के जो 
टैलेंट है उसको बाहर लाने के लिए आर्ट साइंस एंड लैंग्वेज एग्जीबिशन एक दिन के लिए कंडक्ट करना है जिसमें बच्चों को यह मौका मिले कि वो उनके अंदर जो छुपा हुआ टैलेंट है उसको उभार कर बाहर लाएं अलहमदिल्ला मैंने बहुत सारे रूमों में देखा छोटे छोटे बच्चे दूसरी क्लास के तीसरी क्लास के बच्चों को बड़ी अच्छी से समझा रहे हैं और बड़े बोल्ड तरीके से बोल रहे हैं बात करने का एक मौका मिल रहा है तो उमूमन इस तरह के मौके नहीं मिलते बच्चों को तो इस तरह के मौके बारह हम लोगों को बच्चों को फराहम करने हैं जिससे उनके अंदर जो टैलेंट है और उनके अंदर जो काबिलियत होती है उस काबिलियत को बाहर लाने का मौका होता है देखिए हमारे कौम के बच्चों में बहुत सारा टैलेंट है बहुत टेक्निकली माइंड है हमारे बच्चे और इन टेक्निकल माइंड्स को सही डायरेक्शन देना बहुत जरूरी जरूरत है आज की जरूरत है आज हमारे मैसूर शहर में बहुत सारे इदारे हैं मैं एम से भी जुड़ा हुआ हूँ मैं एम का जॉइंट सेक्रेटरी हूँ इसी तरह हमारे आजम पब्लिक स्कूल से भी जुड़ा हुआ हूँ तो बहुत सारे इस तरह के इदारे हमारे काम कर रहे हैं तो मैं समझता हूँ कि हर इदारे में इस तरह के अगर बच्चों को मौके फ्राहम किए जाएँ जिससे उनके टैलेंट को बाहर लाया जाए जो उनके अंदर जो काबिलियत हैं उनको बायदा एक जाहिर करके दूसरों को दिखाने का मौका मिलेगा जिससे उनको एक कॉन्फिडेंस बिल्ड होगा बच्चों को ताकि वो आगे चलकर जो चैलेंजेस हैं उस चैलेंजेस को फेस करेंगे सर यहाँ के बच्चों के साथ साथ यहाँ के जो स्कूल के टीचर्स हैं उन्होंने भी उन्होंने भी जो है बहुत सारी मेहनत की है उनके लिए आप क्या शब्द रहेंगे इसका पूरा जो क्रेडिट जाता है सिर्फ क्या है मैनेजमेंट में हम लोगों ने डिसाइड किया कि एग्जीबिशन करें तो इसके बाद इस चीज़ को हमने चम सभा मैडम के पास पहुँचाया तो इस तरह का एग्जीबिशन करना है मुझे गालिबन याद है डेढ़ दो माह पहले ये बात तय हुई थी कि एग्जीबिशन करना है तो इसके लिए अब जो देख रहे हैं सारे रूमों में जो जो तैयारियां हुई हैं इसके लिए एक दिन दो दिन का काम नहीं लगता एक महीने डेढ़ महीने से इसकी तैयारी लगी है इसका पूरा क्रेडिट जो है एच और उनके पूरे अमले को जाता है पूरे टीचर्स को सिर्फ उनकी मेहनतें हैं जो बच्चों के टैलेंट को बाहर लाने के लिए काम कर A bar magnet is a magnet made up of ferromagnetic substances. Ferromagnetic substances give the magnet its property of magnetism, as the name suggests. A bar magnet is a rectangular piece of the magnet. It has two poles, north and south. Unlike poles, attract each other. Yes. Like poles, repel each other. Yes, prepared only in two periods. A uh, compass is a navigational device that helps user find direction to the cardinal direction, north, south, east, and west. A magnetic compass is a compass that aids in navigation by responding to the earth magnetic fields. A magnifying glass is a convex lens, usually mounted in a frame with with a handle that is produce a magnified image with the object. A tuning fork typically con aluminium consists of a stem and a fork and a fork and of two prongs that form a U-shaped fork. It vibrates at a set frequency after being struck on the heel of the hand, and it acts as vibratory sensation and hearing ear conduction and bone conduction. A prism. A prism is a clear triangular device made up of plastic or glass or any transparent material. When white light goes through a prism, the light bends due to the phenomenon called refraction. Refraction is the process of bending light as light goes from one medium to another medium. If the same light will come out or any changes in the light, no, it passes through the prism. As I said, it passes the light through the prism. Yes, from the prism. It will change its direction. Same light will come or any changes in the light. Changes. There will be changes. We will find some different colors. Yes. Okay. Like white with gray, right? With gray, seven different colors. Like white with gray. It is a glass substance with a cuboidal shape, made up of glass. It is used for mixing dental cements. Okay. Optical instruments. It is a convex mirror. Uh, the focal length the focal lies behind the mirror convex lens form always form in inverted uh, convex lens always form real inverted and diminished image convex convex it's convex 
Is it so? It's convex. Is it so? It's convex. <laughs> yeah. Thanks. Can you show me the concave mirror? Concave mirror. Oh, sorry, it's concave mirror. That's all. See, concave means it will be bulge inside. inside. Convex bulge outside. Oh, outside. That's why I asked twice. Oh, sorry. Oh. It's a con concave mirror. Uh, the focus. This is convex. What you're holding is convex. Yes, it's okay, it's okay. It's it's okay. You're doing well. You're doing doing well. well. Only thing you have took the wrong mirror. Yes, yes. It's That's convex. Yes. It's convex. Yes. The focus is in front of the mirror. Convex mirror, convex mirror from different types of images depends on the position of the object. I will be the guide for chemistry, and biology and chemistry laboratory equipments. First we start from biology. These, are our, these all are specimens. Specimens are biological materials like tissues or fluids collected and preserved for study and analysis in laboratory settings. And here are some parts of human body. This is the structure of air. This is the structure of human heart. And as, as you will know, this is the structure of human eye. This is the structure of human brain. And this is the skeleton structure of whole human body. This is the structure of... Standard, right? uh, no, sir, eighth standard. Yeah. This is the digestive system of human body. Now we move on to the laboratory instrument used in labs. Laboratory instrument used to examine the objects that are too small to be seen by naked eyes. Microscope is divided into two types. One is compound microscope and another one is my simple microscope. Compound microscope is invented by Zacharias Janssen and simple microscope is invented, invented by Antony Van Leeuw Van Leeuwenhoek. And this is the structure of DNA. The D full form of DNA is deoxyribonucleic acid. And these all are permanent slide. Permanent slide prepared with the specimens used in labs. And the, here are some equipments used in laboratories. Scissor, forcep, needle and this is slide. Okay. Now we move on to the chemistry laboratory instruments. Chemical. This is the chem this is the chemical rack used in used for testing and, and experiments. It refers to the variety of equipments traditionally made of glass, especially in chemistry and biology laboratories. This is the glass jar and this is glass desiccator used to, used to protect the moisture and sensitive materials from humidity. This is test tube and this is chemical bottle used to store the chemicals. And this is test reagent reagent bottles and this is test tube ta stands used to hold the te standard test tubes and this is conical flask and this is flat bottom flask and this is the structure of atomic model this is beaker this is measure measuring jar used to measure the chemicals and this is china dish china dish is also known as evaporating evaporating dish this is funnel and this is a burner used to burn the chemicals. This is filter paper used to filter the chemicals. This is test tube holder used to hold the test tubes like this. And this is burette. This is the rubber cock used to used to seal the openings of various glass wares. This is pH paper. The, the full form of pH paper is potential of hydrogen paper. This is pipettes. This is thermometer. This is lactometer. Lactometer is used to determine the purity of milk by measuring its density. And this is these all are this is from tan. grade tenth. And today I will explain about the brain. The brain is the control center of our body. It is in, it is present in our head and is protected by the skull. Uh, it helps us think and uh, feelings and uh, even breathing. This part, this part is cerebrum. It controls our learning, uh, remembering, and thinking, and uh, controls our senses. This part is cerebellum. It controls our movement and balance. This part is midbrain, uh, and here the this part is brainstem. 
it controls our breathing heartbeat and other automatic actions the brain sends message to the whole body through spinal cord and nerves so the brain works as a com as a computer it keeps now us alive every second now the parts and it function this is right atrium it collects oxygen coming poor blood coming from the body from here blood goes into the right ventricle which pumps it to the lungs to get oxygen in the lungs carbon dioxide is removed carbon dioxide is removed and fresh oxygen is added to the blood uh, now oxygen rich blood enters to the left atrium from the from the lungs uh, from the lungs from the lungs then it moves to the left at left left ventricle and this is the strongest chamber of your heart and it and it pumps blood to the whole body this process repeats 70 to 80 times a minute a minute and uh, without rest and keep us alive thank you sir when we inhale oxygen goes in when we exhale carbon dioxide comes out the gas exchange keeps happening every seconds to keep us alive so the lungs act as a breathing machine taking in fresh oxygen and throwing out carbon dioxide everyone my name is mohammad arman good morning everyone my name is mohammad arman malik i am studying second stat my project name is welcome welcome it's a mountain where mountain rocks rocks throw the surface of the earth when volcano lava ash and gas expand from it Thank you. I am student plant animals and fungi microorganisms. Thank you. Very good. Good morning to everyone. My name is Said Afrin. I am studying second standard. My project name is water cycle. The water cycle also known as the hydraulic cycle is the continuous movement of water on above and below the surface of the earth. Thank you. my my topic is school i believe everybody should have a good start in their life have a good education is a great part to success school provide knowledge friendship and intelligent thank you sir good morning sir my name is nita fatima i'm studying in third standard my topping is shapes cylinder cylinder cone 